Bombshell Brunches, where your hosts Raquel Rudenberg and Christina Lau sip and spill with badass babes every Tuesday morning. It is Tuesday. Tuesday. That sounded so creepy. Uh, good Tuesday, all. Uh, how are we doing? Good. That's good. the that's the we. <laughs> <laughs> how are we yeah how are we doing oh we'll get to that uh raquel you you brought this up uh let's talk about productivity we've been you and i have been running pretty fast uh sustainability of mind body <laughs> soul has been very important it's been a really important uh conversation between us in between our brunch breaks and in between our podcasts we've been checking in and checking in with our audience and talking to our our friends, um, all of you out there and figuring out how you're all doing. And one thing that's been coming up a lot has been productivity. How do you stay productive, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think, well, what I wanted to dig into was the different apps, hacks and rituals that we're using to stay productive, to stay happy and healthy. Mm -hmm. um, and especially because, yeah, a lot of people are working from home right now. You and I have worked from home for quite a while. So it's something <laughs> we're pretty used to. But I think even in that, we probably have new hacks and things. And also, I've taken on a lot of stuff from our guests as well. Oh, so much. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, go back through the episodes if you um, once you've listened to this one. That there's probably someone who ha can can offer some insights. But let's get straight into it. Let's talk about some apps. What apps are you yeah. using? Oh my god! So one app that has literally changed my whole day of planning and everything. I want to say my whole life. It's kind of changed my whole life in a in a way. Um, is Notion. And N O T I O N. I yes, yeah. And it is fantastic. Um, I actually found it when I was looking up different study tools because I'm studying right now and it's been a little bit since I've been studying and I was trying to go all digital. And so I was I was looking up different things that I could use and Notion came up over and over and over. And so I thought, okay, I have to finally like sit down, figure this thing out. It's a very open concept. Basically, you can develop, I compare it to like your own little website. So it's like your life website. So mm -hmm. yeah, basically I have a page for bombshells. I have a page for school. I have a good morning page. So what I used to do is I would journal every morning and I would put like the top three to four things that I had to get done that day. Like I'm not going to bed till these things are done. Mm -hmm. My to-do list, a mantra, mm -hmm. and a grateful list. Mm -hmm. And now I just thought that was like so bad using up all of those pages. I loved the ritual of it and I thought it really got me off on the right start. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it was just going through so many pages. I never went back to them later. So now I use Notion for that as well. And then it also puts all of my links for all of the many, many things that I have to link to in one place. So and it's it your is, hub. It's, it's really your it hub. It's hub. your, it's your yeah. yeah, you're basically yeah. creating a virtual. I think it sounds like a precursor, like you've shown it to me. It sounds like mm -hmm. the precursor to your own virtual office, right? Where you're like, here's my thing that I need on my bookshelf and I'm putting it here. And here's a cork Absolutely. board that has all these little reminders. Uh, that's an interesting, it's an interesting one because I do not enjoy screens. And mm -hmm. so I have an offline app, I'm going to call it called the bullet yes. journal. And yes. I use my bullet journal and I also use it very badly. I don't use it like many people. You see these beautiful bullet journals. I was telling my sister, I was like, I've, I've watched so many videos and I just don't, I just don't use them the bullet journal in that way but the joy of having a bullet journal is that it, there isn't one way so mm. understand you know for you I'm I'm looking forward to digging in a little bit more about notion uh, and figuring it out there's a very similar one from what it sounds like there's one called momentum I think as well uh, mm. that has some 
uh, some similar qualities uh, that helps you with a bit of productivity. Um, for me, the bullet journal, I color code. Uh, so I change the color of, uh, I'm very, I realize that color coding is very important to me. And I use that with the bullet journal. So if it's orange, it's to do with my, my home, my living environment, you know, whether it's creating a new content creation space or whatever that is, it's, uh, if it's green, it's home admin, which is like bills, expenses, taxes, like all that sort of stuff. If it's blue, dark blue, it's uh, work related. So it's either bombshells or prolific or any of those things. And if it's pink, it's creative related, um, so I have different things. I think it's really important for our audience to kind of check in with yourself and be like, mm -hmm. what is it that's feeling good about this? And why is it feeling good? So tell me why notion feels so good for you. Is it because it's in one place? You know what? It's a mixture. So I hated screens. I hated screens so much, which is funny. Cause like my whole world is on a screen. Mm -hmm. Um, and I used to get made fun of at work all the time because I'm totally that person that has an actual calendar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I'm I, I want it written down. Yeah. Um and I've totally switched everything now. Mm -hmm. And Notion, what it does is I feel like it really mimics like I can set up my pages exactly like I would in my analog journal. Mm. And it looks the same and it feels the same. Mm -hmm. Um but yet it has that digital aspect where I can actually link it to things. So I don't have to search for a URL, then type it in. It's like, it just lives there. Mm. And so kind of like what you said about having the bookshelf as a resource. Um, I found that was really good. And they really allow you to build out the pages in a really nice way. So I found also to get my thoughts out in a really clear way because I'm someone who likes to create ideas in a very messy crazy way mm -hmm. but I can't let it sit that way so for me to then clarify everything it's very very easy very clear builds it out beautifully how would you say that it's increased your productivity like what do you think the best the benefits are having like how long did it take for you to learn how to use it how long before you felt like you were kind of good at it and then how more, much more efficient do you feel like you are as a result? Oh, that's a really good question. So it took me probably a day to figure it out. And when I say a day, I don't mean like, like I sat down for 10 minutes. I mean, like I sat down and I really spent the day also because it's so open. It, I, I call it open source. I don't know if it actually is, but basically there's like, no set way to do it kind of like you're saying with your Open bullet concept journal. yeah there's no concept so I had to like figure out the best I watched a number of YouTube videos saw how other people were doing mm. it and then took some ideas from each transferred over what I do and mm. then transferred it over for the way I would want to use it so that mm -hmm. took some time I had to really like build the template for myself mm -hmm. and I think it is very individual but now that it's built um now it's just it's so fast because so I used to like build my little mantra each day on each page mm -hmm. my mantra my to-do list blah 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 and that took me like five ten minutes just to write those down now it's created the template is there I just mm. fill it in yeah. done um I don't have to search out links that saves me a ton of time I can just I have one hub I click it it's there yeah it all lives there Great. super fast super efficient so I, it sounds like it, it, you know there's a time investment of about a day like a work day you need to put aside yeah. a work day for productivity day uh which we should we'll get to um i think there's a lot to be said for setting aside time to be productive because we we don't especially for me i don't class that as working time but it actually mm -hmm. really is so you we need to invest more as human beings into that productivity um, set that intention to be more productive and that takes time. Uh, okay, great. And, uh, and then it's, it's rewarding. You, you, you're much more efficient than you were. You're, you're trimming, you're starting to trim the fat now, right? Like, so it's yeah, extra five it's minutes here, extra 10 minutes here. It's much more streamlined and yeah. that seems to be worth it. Okay. Tell me another app. Have you got another one that you use? You know what? I I do. Um, and so the other thing that I did, because I am doing my master's right now, there's tons and tons and tons of readings. 
Um, and then I have to take all of those readings and build them into concepts and discuss them. Mm-hmm. Um, and so there's two apps that have literally changed the way that I learn. Literally. It, they're, I can't say enough good things about them. One is OneNote used specifically on my iPad. So I use it both on my iPad and on my computer. They link there. It's a free app, totally mm-hmm. free to use. Um, what I love about it is I can use my stylus. And again, being someone who loves analog, I can actually write my notes with mm. my stylus. Feels like I'm writing on a piece of paper. But because it's also linked to my computer, what I can do is I can take the lecturer's notes or I can take the page that I'm reading out of whatever research paper. I can throw it in here. It's literally drag and drop. And then I can write around it. So I can Mm. take concepts. I can pull them out. I love that. It's ridiculous. I need an iPad and a a stylus now. It's changed. Christina, I cannot tell you. I have sold so many people on this i think that i should have shares in <laughs> Apple. Uh, okay great um, so that's if you're an so Apple that was user. a big one yeah and the other one i don't know if this would be helpful to anyone who isn't in a position where they're having to do a lot of readings with reports and things like that but if you are or if you have to do editing or anything like that this one is incredible and let me just double check the name because I always say it wrong. It's Liquid Text. And it's so cool. This is the future, yo. This is like <laughs> crazy. So basically what you can do is you can, again, works really well on your iPad with your stylus. So it feels like you're reading a book. I throw in all my research papers into there. Um, and then what it has is it has a double paned window. So you have your article on one side and the other side is open for you to write notes on, but Mm -hmm. not just write notes. You can also highlight text and then you just drag it out and it'll bring a copy of that excerpt out to the side. And then when you take another one, you can actually connect it so that those ideas, those concepts are connected. Hmm. And so what I found is I would read through it once pull out things that I just thought were important. And the next thing I knew when I had to actually act on those concepts, Mm -hmm. everything was in my notes. It was so easy. It took me seconds to like relook over my notes and know everything I needed to know. Oh, that's so great. Game changer. Really. Interesting. Yeah. Great. Okay. Yours. Yours. (laughs) Mine. I'm pretty simple. I have a physical hourglass. (laughs) I have a physical hourglass uh, that is, you can tell the difference between me and Raquel. Uh, How much time is your hourglass? 20, about 20 minutes. But for those who don't, and I just like it because it looks fancy. uh, But for those who don't, I also have an app called Focus Keeper. And it is a very simple app. This is a zero, uh, zero time getting to learn it. It just, it, it is purely for productivity. Because I switch, uh, there's a great book, by the way, called Deep Work by Cal Newport. And uh, it is it talks about the nature of different types of work and what's required in order for you to stay focused and productive, depending on what you're doing. I am someone who does a lot of things in a lot of different, like a lot of fingers, a lot of pies. Uh, and, and some of them require me to be very, very concentrated, five hours at a time. You know, we're, we're in a recording session. I you know, I'm recording an audiobook. I'm narrating an audiobook. That's a seven hour day, right? So my productivity and focus needs to be very different to how it needs to be on a daily basis. If I'm doing more career coaching, if I'm building the, you know, the career pathways, the programming, project management in general. So it's really important to understand that. But when I have all of these different things to do, Focus Keeper, helps me to stay focused throughout the day where I'm doing 20, I think it's 25 minutes with a five minute break. And you do that four times and then you get a longer break, which is a half an hour break. It's just a big red, it's just a big red thing that goes on your phone. It's a free app. So that's, those are my productivity tools that I use in terms of if I'm going to call them apps, my analog apps and digital apps. 
there's there were, there's one that I want to look into because I'm such an avid reader. Uh, it's called Blinkist. It just saves a lot of time, and I it's more about research. Like if you're if you're someone who wants to read a lot in a day but you don't have a ton of time, then it will help you to get the crux of uh, of of a multitude of books uh, just in 15 minutes. It basically summarizes the entire book for you. So that's kind of on the cusp of productivity. Um, it's not really like to help you be more productive. It's more like to help you buy more time into your day, which I think is being productive. So those are the ones that I use. That's it. And uh, yeah, so let's move on to hacks then. Oh my God. Okay. So my hacks are, especially being locked down, I bought, I know this sounds like a weird one, but I bought a bunch of plants because I just, I can't get outside for as long as I want to. I have Mm -hmm. so many readings to do. You're stuck inside all the time. So yeah, I bought a bunch of plants and really just to like keep the air nice and pure to I brought a snake plant which is so good for purifying the air of any impurities that are uh, around your house Mm -hmm. so if you're using chemicals in your home etc it's really really good so that's a big one that I invested in um lighting yeah I was gonna say (laughs) it's huge everyone it is huge lighting is such a big deal yeah um yeah. yeah That's a huge one. And it can really like, you can even end up working way longer hours Mm -hmm. if you need to. Like if you're Mm -hmm. in a crunch and you need to just put on bright lights and it will totally uh, rework your brain. It'll signal that you're still in daytime and you're, you're just going to go for it. So that those are two big ones that I've been using. How about you? I am learning in, I'm reading about biohacking now. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I am reading a book called Fast This Way Mm -hmm. uh, by the creator of the, of Bulletproof Coffee. Mm -hmm. And so I'm learning today. I am actually on, where are we at now? It's two o'clock. I think I'm 14, 15 hours into a fast now. So I'm just starting really really simply uh i did have a bulletproof coffee so again everyone fasts differently everyone has a different concept of what fasting is uh but over the last little while i've been really looking at biohacks including i have a lot of conversations with friends my friend katie's doing a lot of sleep related things um Mm -hmm. so i'm learning a lot through her uh I I would also consider the trauma release therapy i did with ocean my hypnotist my hypnotist larry um uh, I do a lot of hacking. Uh, it sounds awful when I say I'm hacking my mind, uh, mm. but I'm I'm figuring out how to be a higher performance individual. And Those so, are like mind shift hacks. They're kind of mind shift hacks. There's a great uh, podcast called Impact Theory by Tom Bilyeu that talks about a lot of hacking um, for you to become a higher performance person. So I would say right now my hacks that I'm focusing on the next few weeks are uh, this book on fasting I'd like to read. I've just finished a book on addiction um, that's helping me to reposition how I approach my relationship with uh, with alcohol, with um, uh, sugar, actually, with sugary substances, uh, my relationship with the thought processes in my mind, right? So that's a kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm in biohacking mode right now. Ooh, I was I was doing that. Um, I was kind of in that mode before I came here. So mm. I have to look up the book that I was reading, but it's so good. And he talks about all of this, uh, all of these different biohacks that you can do. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of them are, are actually, I think, becoming more and more common now. So like I think there's more cold information. Showers, ice oh, showers. Wim Hof, Wim Hof, yeah. yeah. Wim Hof was is great, yeah. So for him, for sure. But there was another one that, anyways, I'll find it. But I stupidly got the audiobook. I didn't realize how dense into research it would be. So right. I wish that I hadn't. I wish that I had actually gotten like a physical book that I could, mm. have, you know, used more like a textbook. Mm-hmm. But it, it was it's incredible. It was a really good book. I'll I'll put it in the show notes. But um. Yeah, I know that ice showers are a big one. Um, I'm it's definitely going to... Tr- 
sorry go on no that's okay I I, I want to try again I used to do it but working out first thing in the morning on an empty stomach actually yeah that that's one that I I don't work out first thing in the morning because I like to break it up in the day I and we'll get to rituals next and I'll tell you why uh, <laughs> but yeah I I think that's it's on an empty stomach is uh, is interesting I'm so fascinated by the impact like this book the impact that fasting has on your um in terms of cleaning up the the cells that are kind of faulty cells you know for just to put it as rudimentary rudimentarily rudimentary rudimentarily rudiment rudimentary rudimentarily i think it's rudimentarily uh as possible uh but you know when you fast you're you know you're kind of yeah, you're cleaning up, you're cleaning house a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I, I have psoriasis, as you know, and, and I have a lot of inflammation. So this has been a life, a lifelong kind of journey of what's helpful, you know. Mm-hmm. And all of these, we've got to just, you know, before we go into rituals, I think the other thing to really understand is, you know, for all of our, our babes, as our friends out there, like, everyone's at a different point we have the luxury you and I have the luxury of having guests on the show that are like hand feeding us all of this information um but one thing I do want to say is that you know something I can't remember which guest it was actually now that said it but it's not you don't do this as a one-off thing this isn't one-off like so if you're looking at a productivity tool um, and let's say you you decide that you want to use Notion first. Wait till that's set set in before you necessarily try and take on all of the things at the same time. Um, I just yeah. want to caveat uh, yeah. that it's I too think much that's otherwise. A really good point, and and to be gentle with yourself too, because I mean I go in and out of bouts. The the important thing because I've dropped some of them, and we'll talk about this with rituals, but. I think the important thing is when you start making these habits, then when you drop them, you notice the shift. Like you mm. can feel the shift in your day, in your energy, in your productivity, and um, and then yeah. you can get back on board. But it's okay. There are times where you're just way too fucking busy to do it. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, <laughs> if you do all of them, if you try to do all of them at the same time, I don't think you'd understand which ones were working best for yeah. you, right? Like I've, yeah. I've established, I've, I've been doing my morning ritual for oh gosh it's it's probably coming up on 60 60 or more days like 60 70 maybe maybe 70 days I don't know I haven't count I don't count the days I'm not a metric hunter like you that. have a hack that I don't even know if you know that you have do I you yeah you post your rituals on Instagram every day on your stories and I think that holds you accountable I think that's a hack <laughs> it's an, yeah that's interesting yeah you, you know what I think you're right it might well be because I do remember to do it except for Sundays when I have a I have a social media fast on Sundays um yeah I guess so yeah I do I post it and it does I get and I do have a lot of people because I work in career pathways because you know our lives are based in how do we be better um Mm -hmm. that's what you and I kind of we love uh so yeah it's important you're right it's important hold I think that's a very good point I don't hold myself accountable through doing things with groups of other people um necessarily I have tried and again this is a very good point ask yourself how you hold yourself accountable best so good yeah Yeah, because I I've I've got friends who they need to have a group they need to have that community of people I'm and you and I are very different. I play solo. I play tennis. I play I uh, badly. Obviously. I'm solo. We're not that different. Well, Alex you will- love this the group mentality of people and everyone being together, right? And and I do too. Not but- with my not with my Oh. Like, I'm not um goal driven by anything that anyone else does. I Interesting. compete yeah. with me and me alone. Yeah, I'm like that and too. I- hate outside things like those stupid sticker challenges and those little like mm. reward yourself when you get 10 i i can't like it makes oh see i'm upset. in between that's interesting actually <laughs> i'm surprised but this is it's interesting because i'm in between whereas mm. you know some people i know they love to have um like the book club 
or you know the, mm. the you know the the kind of things that you do with a group of people and even in this fasting you know this guy is like he's written the book it's like you know fast with someone I'm like no <laughs> I want to tell you when I'm done like it's hard enough for me to say that it's happening because right now I'm like I'm grumpy but yeah I but yeah I think that you have to know and and ask yourself you know is this working for me did I feel achievement did I feel like my fire was fueled or did I feel like worse for it mm -hmm. and just be honest mm -hmm. with how that feels so anyway that was a little sidebar but before we go into rituals you know it's really important for you to find w those things that you that you really uh, if, to use the word that's overused resonate with that that feels sustainable you yeah. know yeah absolutely mm -hmm. so rituals go on or do you want me to start i think you should start well, mine's pretty, mine's, okay, I'm going to walk you through my rituals. And if you want to find me on Instagram, you can see them every day. I post, I post every morning <laughs> that I've done it. Uh, it's now actually about 70 or 80 minutes. Um, how it started was I wanted to do, years ago, I decided that because we would have auditions as actors, you have auditions from anywhere from 10 a.m. till 5 6 p.m sometimes weekends it got to and it, and it was in person like back when we were allowed to be in person and that things um and i realized that my time was not my own and mm. i and that's a tough thing to say i felt like my time was not my own because those auditions would come in and i'd have to shift my whole life around it and i'd have to make it work so what i did was i said okay i'm going to get up at five in the morning and uh, do my rituals of the things that are just for me so that I have taken ownership of my day uh, and set it up where I am the person who is setting up for success rather than being reactive to something else. Now, years later, that evolved into recently when I was uh, needing a really big shift in my behavior. I wasn't happy with how I was... Uh, how I was operating and who I was becoming, I realized that I needed a morning ritual, which included, this is how it happens. I wake up, uh, that's success number one. And then number two, I do a meditation. I use Insight Timer, people use Headspace. There are, there are so many, so many apps out there. You can look them up, find what's best for you. I then do one page of writing in my journal some months that's different and it looks like me having a meditative experience where I write my surroundings, what's going on. I get myself present by, by writing on a page because I'm quite a kinetic learner or kinesthetic learner. Uh, so writing is important for me. Uh, it also helps me to get, uh, to reduce anxiety. Then I, uh, oh, and other times I just, I talk about the dreams or what I feel like doing for the day. It doesn't really matter. Then I read 10 pages of a book that improves me. This is not fiction. This is a book that is right now, it's the fasting book. Before that, it was the addiction book. Uh, sorry, before that, it was Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Great book. Uh, and I just do 10 pages so that then I have done a little bit of self-learning. Then I do 10 to 20 minutes of yoga. So I just use the Nike Training Club app. It's free mm, that's and a great one. it's a great app. Uh, shout out to Nike for doing that. That's awesome. Um, and it really, it really helps me get my 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 now settled mind into my body, and wakes me up and says, "Yeah, I'm paying attention to you as well." And then I go into my next uh, very important. Uh, exercise which is Carolyn Quinn's vocal warm-ups so I do my vocal warm-up because my job uses my voice and most people that I know who are entrepreneurs or creatives in any way your voice is one of the most neglected things so for five to seven minutes is all you need to warm your voice up and that means that I'm a vocal athlete when it comes to recording singing sessions the audiobook, I had a comment from the engineer uh, saying that I sustained way more proficiently than a lot of people do because, and I thank Carolyn um, for that. And then I recently added Tony Robbins 
has a, uh, he calls it priming. And I was never a big Tony Robbins fan. I think he's amazing for some people to each their own. I loved this. I loved what he was doing with this. It's uh, five, five or six steps or seven steps where you take a minute, you do some breathing, you do some heart, another minute of heart breathing. You do another few minutes of a gratitude where you, you spend a minute and just think about what you're grateful for one minute at a time. You then do whatever your spiritual side is. Some people pray, some people energy shield. Uh, then you pass that out. You, you celebrate that you send gratitude or you send energy out to people that, you know, uh, people that you care about someone that passed you on a street even, and then you set intentions that are three, you visualize your outcomes of best success. So you're priming your, your mind to create this reality uh, that is all about not, it's not all about you. It's all about your best version of you. And that is a grateful person mm. and a generous person. And I have recently realized that as much as I like to think that I'm uh, a, a good person and generous, I'm not as generous as I want to be. Like, you know, and I, and actually a lot of people are like, oh no, but you really are. That is, I'm grateful that they say that, but that's not relevant. I don't, I feel like I have a lot more generosity um, and that's helped me to, to create it. So I do all of that before I look at anything from anyone. So my phone is only used, it's on do not disturb until a certain time every single day. So people can't contact me until I am ready. And the first thing I do is then post on Instagram. Most of the time is post that on Instagram, uh, that I've done my morning ritual because you're, I'm then setting up for me to be the most important aspect of the day. And that, and me being me, being establishing what's most relevant to me and what's most important in my life. And after I do that, I carry on with my day and I'll caveat that on Sundays, I don't do that. Because what I've realized is that because I am a very addictive personality type of person, if I create too much of a structure and I don't give myself a break, I end up being way too rigid in my life and I need to have flexibility and my brain needs to be creative. So on Sundays, I, I do a go with the wind Sundays and I just do whatever mm, I want. Uh, yeah, I just go with the wind. Sometimes I just walk down the street for no reason. Sometimes I go and buy a hot chocolate or something that I shouldn't eat, shouldn't eat or whatever, you know. So knowing you and amending and adjusting and and figuring out what's sustainable is really important. So now that's 80 minutes. It started at 60. Some people have written to me and said they can only do 30, but they love that 30 and that's good for them. And I'm like, great. Hmm. Oh, that's dynamite. I do. I do some similar things. So I've been really bad since I've moved here and my phone charges on my nightstand. So I think mm. one of the things I've been thinking about for the last couple of weeks, and I haven't done it yet, but you know, going to say it on air, um, <laughs> <laughs> is that I'm going to start charging my phone away from my nightstand. Because mm. especially with the time difference, what I'm finding I'm doing, and I never, ever, ever did this before, um, is when I go to sleep, my friends and family are awake. So the first thing I want to do in the mornings right. is see what they've been messaging me and what they've been up to. Right. But that puts me in a very reactive state. So, right. um, and sometimes I'm in bed for like an extra hour, not because I'm tired, but because I'm like answering things. That's an hour stolen. Like, so that yeah. is my goal. Get rid of that. Charge it over there. Mm -hmm. Before, before I moved here, that wasn't a problem. Um, one of the things that I forgot to talk about that I did purchase, and this is part of my morning ritual is, and my nighttime ritual is, um, one of those light alarm clocks. So <gasps> it gradually, is it amazing? It's oh, amazing. I want one. Yeah. I want one so yeah. Much. It's my second one. Actually, I had one in Canada. I live, I live by it. And so oh. did my boyfriend over time. Like he loves it too. Mm. Um, which one have you but got? I could only bring so much. I don't know because I bought this one here on like oh. Dutch Amazon, <laughs> but okay. I'll, I'll find the brand of like the one I actually got at home. I think I got it at Costco, the one I got in Canada and then oh. you'll be able to get that. Yeah. They're, oh they're yeah, great. I will. 
Okay, great, 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 great. Um, and then the first thing I do is I hydrate. So I get a big bottle of water mm. and I slam it. I just slam a whole bottle of water. And I find that's like a really important one for me, especially because I love coffee. <laughs> Apparently for everyone, that's a really important one to improve your sleep. There's a Sex with Emily podcast mm. that's on sleep with this, uh, an expert that's on uh, talks about sleep. Yeah. And, and he says exactly that, like 750 mils or whatever it is of like half yeah. a liter of water, like bang, straight away. Yeah. Great idea. Yeah. I and do a green actually, tea, but yeah. Oh, green tea is nice. Mm. It um, If you drink water, if you hydrate the few hours before you go to bed, you're actually going to not have bad breath in the morning either. Mm. So that morning breath goes away, which is just, you know. That's a good. Advice. That's a good little. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's, yeah. Um, and then I usually start my coffee, jump in the shower because I do like coffee. I did for quite a while. I wouldn't do coffee for like the first few hours. Mm. You know what I just I really enjoy it it's a part of my morning that I just yeah. very much enjoy so I put that on go for a shower um and then I always do mood music so I like try to pick tracks some, some mornings I wake up just like jazzed and so I might do something a little bit more mellow so that I can you know concentrate after mm -hmm. um and sometimes I might feel too mellow so then I pump it up and I'll put some like Lizzo on and just have a great morning dance and I find oh, I love that. that. It's so Morning dynamite. Like it's oh, so helpful. I got I got to do that more. You I got to do that more. I do <laughs> I put on I put on the most boring focus <laughs> music that's like whoa <laughs> like the whale singing. <laughs> and there's always the same track. It's always the same track. I am so oh. I could eat the same meal almost every day as long as I like that meal. It's the same track. And or I'll put on classical music so I'll be like <laughs> and, just, and and I'll ponce around just well that sounds nice <laughs> yeah but I work in music I work in music and I don't even have a proper I've never even gone onto a playlist I don't have any taste oh I'm God. just oh sorry I interrupted you no but. that's good that's good live by Spotify that's what I do because I need to mix it up and listen to new things I have Spotify and, and Apple music and I just don't know how to use them <laughs> I'm just like and, and then I got I inherited this google dot thing and it's like hello and I was like oh how do I hook oh up my to God. my Spotify and it's like you don't have that function and that was four months ago and I was like oh okay then and just and then I was like, "Okay, Google, play that." Okay, you Google tell me what's what. Yeah, I just I was like, "Okay, sorry." Oh, someone, someone, oh help God. me fix my devices. Somebody oh help me. God. I'll send you some Spotify playlists. No, I'm not going to listen to them. I don't know how no, to connect. Just do it. How do I do that? Anyway, we'll talk I, about I'll it help later. You with it. I'll okay, help you with it. Okay, Because I, I, I lived by yeah. I had two Google what dot are they things. Spot nests. dots? I don't know. They're nests. Okay. Google nests. Well, sure. Yeah, I had two of them, but I didn't bring them to Europe. So nice. anyways, them with me. play the music and okay. uh, and then I do my little my my little thing that I talked about earlier, my my hack, which is where I write down the top things that I have to get done that day. I have mm. an ongoing list that I can add to, but I can move that over to the next day if I have to. Right. Um you know the mood, yeah there are the other people call them list. the critical six who was it was it um seven habits of highly effective people was it in that book? okay i can't remember um there's some really great books on i mean that one's pretty old now but it's so yeah good. critical six it's is so important good. yeah yeah it's also, really important understand if you like doing that at the beginning of the day or the end i'm very much a beginning and yeah, then too. what i've realized though is i'm uncomfortable by doing it but i i'm better off when i do my end of day as well when I build in 15 minutes mm. at the end of the day and just say okay what did I get done what is for tomorrow I don't have to order it I don't have to highlight it I just mm. I don't have to color code it I just have to dump it there because for me a lot of it because we do so many things and I think us as society now we're expected to multitask in so many ways it, they stay they stay in your brain they kind of float around and they're like oh yeah you've got these things That's they're like these little soot monsters in the back I think I'm going to try doing that because sometimes I do ruminate and then I can't go to sleep at night. Um, mm. So the busier I am, normally I'm fine. Like normally I fall asleep pretty well, but, but this last couple of weeks have been really, really busy. Yeah. And so I've been doing that because there's just a lot of balls in the air. 
and they're mm. just different balls. So yes. I'm like my brain, you're yeah. trying to go to bed and you're like still trying to keep track of everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't yeah. want to your, your mind is. We talk That's about the true. conscious and unconscious mind so much. And yeah. I've started doing a nighttime meditation as well, where you literally, there's That's one nice. meditation I like where it just, it's 10 minutes and you visualize unplugging everything. And it's like so satisfying. I'm just like, imagine that your TV's kind of... unplugged. Imagine your, imagine your emails are all answered. And then I, in my mind, I'm like, okay, 18,734 answered emails. I mean, most of those are like junk and newsletters. I do respond to emails. I'm just going to put that out it's there. It's actually interesting. So the power of now, they mm. talk about one of the things is they do talk about meditation and everything, which is really big mm-hmm. and that's great. Um, but one of the things he talks about is before bed so when I do have my mind full of things or my body's kind of off or whatever I'm kind of anxious then what you do is you send your energy you feel your energy in your body and you send it from your head to your toes and then back up your body and then to your head to your toes and you just focus inwards on sending Mm -hmm. that energy up and down your body internally and um, I found I like that, that really, really, really helpful. Sometimes it's challenging. Like for some reason, it gets stuck in my knees a lot. <laughs> I don't know why. That's random. I know. Maybe some like, of oh, these like experts, these trauma her. experts or, or people who specialize <laughs> in body movement can tell me why. But my yeah, knees, could you imagine? Like, just, yeah, my left eyebrow was really just not happy today. Just everything just got stuck there legitimately i'm sure there's something to it um so that's a big one and then what i like to do is break up my day so then i'll sit down and do work i i'm Mm. a morning brain so i do like as much as i'd like to work out in the morning i think really clearly in the morning so i want to sit down and get work done like right away and then i take an afternoon walk or run Mm. depends on the weather right now we have ice everywhere so i haven't been running But usually I'll just go for a run and that'll take me about an hour. Like I'll walk out to the park, go for a run, walk back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I'll sit back down to work. But I need that. That Mm. And then and then it really just cycles through. And then it's like sleep hygiene, which Spotify has an amazing sleep uh, playlist, which I play. And then you can set your alarm to... So I don't know if you guys know this, but if you have an iPhone, you can set your alarm to do a timer and the end of the timer, instead of it being like a sound, you can set it to stop playing music. So I'll set the timer for like half an hour and it'll be like sleep music and yeah. Mm, Nice. That's smart. I didn't know that. Great. Well, good. I mean, well, now we've filled your brains with all these things that you can do. Tons of rituals. Yeah, apps, hacks, and rituals. Um, we'd love to hear what yours are. Yes. Uh, if you have, uh, you know, some things that you can't live without, you know, things that you have found really shave time off your day, leave you feeling rejuvenated, uh, share them with us. Send that. Send them in. We're always, always available. You can DM us on Instagram, and uh, and we will reply. Uh, and and love you for it and yeah tag us in in any products or apps or hacks or rituals that you discover uh and yeah let's share that knowledge so i hope this has been helpful to everybody yeah and i uh i hope everyone's making it through this crazy pandemic time pretty okay (laughs) Mm -hmm. yes all things considered yeah okay all right babes we'll see you next week Thanks for listening, Bombshells. In order to continue to elevate, subscribe and don't forget to click that little bell so you can get notified every time we have a new badass brunch. Until next time, stay focused, fierce and fabulous.